Hello, I'm going to show you how to install, uh, how to set up your backup software, <coughs> how to back things up on it, and how to restore it. So I'm going to use Komodo Backup uh, Software Solution, which is a free version, uh, downloaded on the internet. Um, so you would start by pressing this uh, little cross button here, so it's create new backup. I put name Jeff's backup. I'm gonna like leave it as simple copy. Um, and in the source option here, I'm gonna choose what I want to backup. So I'm just gonna go to source folder here, open my files, and I'm gonna uh, select this folder here, backup test. Click OK. Uh, you can also exclude. Uh, different extensions, you mean include and exclude different extensions. I'm just gonna leave them as it is. Click OK. And the destination tab, that's where you choose where you want to save your backup. So I'm just gonna select my file, my folder, and I wanna keep it. No other changes need to be made here. These options, I'm gonna select full backup. You use incremental backup for backups. If you want to um, uh, only backup files that have changed since the last full backup, so I'm gonna click full and compression. I'm not gonna select anything here. I'm not gonna create schedule, but you could create a different schedule for different days when it starts, um, or I can make it monthly. Um, yeah, you can start a couple of the backup. And uh, your system starts and yeah, stuff like that is pretty good. Let's test, I'm not gonna test in well, I'm gonna test it differently, so I'm not gonna do it in here. Email notify, I'm not gonna do this as well. And external tasks, you could add different scripts before or after the backup runs. So I'm just gonna click OK. Okay, so let's pre select the date, so it's none and okay. So now I created a, a backup. But to run the backup, I'm just going to right click on this backup and do run backup. You can see the progress in here, you can see the, what was backed up. So now I'm going to open this folder that I have just backed up and delete everything. And that will be here. here. Delete that. You can see there's nothing here now. And I go to our backup program and do restore from a local machine. I'm going to select the backup and click next. This says where uh, the backup actually is stored and after where the restore backup will be kept. So this is the right settings for me. I'm going to click next and restore. It says restore has completed. I'm going to click finish. I'm going to open uh, that folder, but I have deleted everything in it. And you can see I have all the file uh, folders in there. So this is how you set up a backup solution. Well, for, for home systems at least. Well, thanks for watching.